Hi, can I place an order for pickup? Absolutely. Can I, uh, we're cash on this, right? Yeah, that's fine. Perfect. What can I get for you today? Could I do a medium Anna's Delight? You guys, happy Thursday evening donation <laughs> with sound effect. Shawnee Two Sands, best tavern style thin crust in Lakeview, in my opinion, Side Street Saloon. Have you heard of Side Street Saloon? Never. Me neither. I really want to share this hidden gem with my boy. I get Italian beef and jardinere. I've wanted to try the Anna's Delight, but you do you, my man. It won't disappoint. Husco. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Alex Husco. <laughs> I started clapping too early. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> this is my cue. Okay, so the Anna's Delight. Look, I've had a lot of Jardinere and Italian beef pizzas, and I'm kind of over it right now. Plus, I want to have a little dinner with Allie, and an Anna's Delight sounds like something Allie's going to like more. We've got fresh tomato, basil, and Italian sausage. Verdict? Excited for basil and tomato. <laughs> Wait, is there cheese? You know what? I don't think this pizza will have cheese. Okay, but some pizzas, if it doesn't say cheese... <laughs> of him so when he flips that dough, he's Pizza Boy USA. Chicago Pizzeria sure do love to go cash only. It's very annoying. It's impossible, impossible, I've never even heard of this. Look at its cute little like bottle cap logo. Is this a one right now? Let's go this way. <laughs> That would have been a good option as well. This is so cool. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I appreciate it. You get an early preview. Yeah, it smells delicious. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh my god. Are you so excited? Yes. Is that like braided on the crust? <laughs> this is the prettiest tavern style I've ever seen. Right? Bye, thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. That flyover footage using Allie's cinematic mode on her phone <laughs> made that pizza pop. I mean, it is beautiful. How have I never heard of this place? This is the best looking tavern style pizza I've ever seen. It's hands down. gorgeous. The pieces are so small. I kind of dig it. You can have 16 pieces and feel skinny. Seriously though, this crust is like gorgeous. How did, it's like braided. Allie had a beer while we were waiting. Uh, all day IPA? All day IPA. That place just has a vibe. And then I was looking up reviews just for fun on Google as I was sitting there and everyone is calling this place like the hidden gem. So I'm kind of mad I'm making this video because if it is great, I mean, I want to help them out, but I don't want to like, you know how it is. You don't want places to blow up. But let's just get after it, dude. Share the love. What's your first pick? I always go for the one next to the corner. Okay, well, I don't really eat a lot of tavern style, so I can follow your lead. Look at that, it holds its shape. I'm so excited and I'm never excited for tavern style. Alex Husco, who's been a legend on this vlog, so many donations. This is for you, my friend, Chicagoland's own. Cheers. You gotta be kidding me. Blasting with flavor, so crispy, doesn't flop at all. Tomatoes are great, love the basil. Mm. This is incredible. I think this is the best thing I've ever eaten on your show. <laughs> what the hell just happened? Wow. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. This is only a medium, too. You guys, look at, I mean, it's, I'm not, no risk of even anything falling. It's just beautifully done. Here's the undercarriage. Looking great. That is a strip of pizza right there. I'm so glad this is good. Wow but lasting with flavor. This is incredible. And like I am eh, on sausage, like but, I'd be fine without it. This is delicious. It's like flavorful. It's not too greasy. That is generally a problem. 
You're right, the crust is braided. They kind of do that like twisty tie. This is insane, wow. I, I'm so, I don't understand. How are not more people talking about this? Oh my God, that sausage is so good. There's just so much flavor. The and it's basil not, is perfect. The basil has, they put a good amount of it too, and it's not too greasy. Mm -hmm. I am in love with this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they have so many ingredients you can get. I never would have gotten this one, personally. That's why I love this vlog. But I always talk about, because of Alex's, I'm basically doing recon work for you. You were like thinking about getting this one, you have to get this one. This is incredible. The crust is crunchy, but it still has that like pizza bread taste. Like sometimes it feels like you're eating sawdust that just like disintegrates in your mouth and it's really chalky and like. Yeah, tap and style like that. Yeah. This is the dream. I am so surprised and so happy. But also I kind of feel like it's a dream. Like this is like something that I would envision that like you and I had the best tavern style pizza of our entire lives. And I'm gonna wake up in 10 minutes with my alarm going off. <laughs> and just be sad. This is a top 10 pizza in Chicago. This might be top, top seven, top, top five? Top five, I think this is top five. This is something I would crave. It is perfectly balanced. Plus get, you can go in there and get a beer. I love like. I would have loved to sit there and eat this. Like don't even get in your car. They were so nice in there. We were like her first customer. Ew. Ugh, cover your mouth. <laughs> Why is it the guy's urge to like cough and then grab your balls? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, but <laughs> the middle piece, no flop. Perfect crisp. Wow, that's just a lot. This is the only competitor to Vito and Nick's that I've tasted. This is the new pizza to beat on the north side. Have I had Vito and Nick's? You and I have never been down there together, which we absolutely have to do together sometime. Go have a beer there. It's kind of like that vibe, but on the south side. Like, Yeah, seriously, middle piece has structure. So much structure. And toppings. Also, the mar marinara, marinara, why is my brain broken? You okay, bro? <laughs> my brain is broken. The marinara is incredible. It's like a deliciously light tomato acid, a little bit of like herbs, not overly herbed, not overly peppered. It tastes fresh. It tastes like they just got some tomatoes and made their own sauce and then put it on the pizza and then covered it in cheese, sprinkled some fairy dust over it, hand braided the entire crust and then delivered it. <laughs> Long story short, if you want the Spark Notes version, it bangs. Power bombs set up my face. I don't know the diamond cutter. I don't believe it. Why is this so good? I don't understand. I'm gonna do one more slice. Okay. Also, can we talk about the additional tomatoes on top of this pizza? They're what so fresh. Move. I know. There's a lot of them too. I feel like many places try to do it and it never works. And this is the example they're all secretly trying to do. Do they deliver? You couldn't find them on any apps, right? I think you got to do it there. You can do takeout. I couldn't find it for delivery. Maybe that's how they're sneaking under the radar. Mm -hmm. This is poppable. It's like pizza popcorn. I wanna go see a three hour Marvel movie and sneak this in and have like 64 slices to eat during it. That's my popcorn. We have very different interests when watching movies. <laughs> the tomato is so good. Seriously, I'm waiting for my alarm to go off. I'm gonna wake up and be so sad. Yeah, I can see us driving up and getting this for takeout together when we want a pizza. I don't think we'd make it home. We'd just like move in, change our address to the bar. All right, well, we gotta get out of here because we got stuff to do. We got another video tomorrow. I'll do one more slice. Some Polish food. Yes. Nancy, I love you. Thank Cheers. you. The coating and a very fun ode to one of my favorite people who ever existed. So come on back tomorrow. Allie's back for that one. And I will see you guys very soon. I mean, Alex, you could not have crushed this more. I, this vlog is just blowing my mind of people putting me onto things. I think about when I had that charred salami sandwich. That was another one that I didn't even know that was a thing. And because of this vlog, I'm just discovering the gems of the Chicagoland area. The Venmo, the cash at the PayPal. If you even wanna flirt with the idea of being as much of a G as Alex Husco, and as always, Rory Boyle, fan club look at all the names fun reveal tomorrow on how you can become a Rory Boiler for no money you'll see I will say I've had 17 pieces of this and I like just now need a napkin that is how not greasy this is do you have the kitchen towel I brought no that's gross. <laughs> don't forget to bring a towel side street saloon up side street saloon down be good to each other and please come here yeah support them or don't do we want to keep it hidden end of the video check it yeah I think I'll be a father one day soon, I must admit it. I'll be the type of dad to give you hugs and lots of spinach. I take vacations.
positions But I tell my wife I'm gone in business She probably thinking I screwed around with my new assistant okay. One day I came to set us down and ask us how we met Well I liked her pic on Instagram, one day she hit me back Said I was cute and shit and didn't love me for my money Apologize, I was a dickhead in my early 20s, funny Back in the day his daddy was a rapper Riding around on tour, but I'm getting bitches after I died choking, it wasn't a dream Ow! See I pinched you and you're still awake! Yeah. That's ex Stop! No!